Welcome to part 5 of Final Fantasy 8 and in this episode we are going to finish up our business here in Dolat. All we need to do is go up the tower and follow Cypher. And we'll be thrusted into the boss gauntlet, which will explain why this part is pretty long. And we also introduce to a returning character. I would say returning because the actual game that these two guys appear in is actually Final Fantasy VI. It's Biggs and Wedge. And remember, in Final Fantasy X, these two were Luna, I mean, the Luca Sanctuary Guards, and, uh, I mean, Luca Stadium, sorry. Why did I say Sanctuary? But anyway, Luca Stadium Guards, and they're also Blitzball players, and they were two of the best players in the league. Now, Biggs and Wedge are relegated to patrolling and fixing the communications tower here in Final Fantasy VIII. Well, they did that before they became Luka Stadium guards and blitzball players, but that's the point. What of the matter is, Biggs and Wedge in this game gets literally no respect, just like in Final Fantasy VI. Although, it's a little bit worse. Now, for some reason, when I was playing the PlayStation version, even though I got disc one fixed and everything, it was at this particular part that the game just stopped. And I wasn't able to continue on with the fight with Biggs and Wedge. This is one of maybe three bosses. Yes, the communicate no, the communication tower is operational, but we are about to fight one of three bosses in this stage and ironically enough you don't really have to completely defeat him yet it's that keyword yet and again i apologize for the drop in frame rate because after all this is steam anyway FMV revealing kick-ass satellite. And this is what the Galbadian soldiers was actually gunning for. Repairing the communication towers so that all of their soldiers can receive their frequencies. That's pretty much what they were doing. That's why they went through all the trouble of capturing Dullet in the first place. And, since the tower is completed, and Biggs just realized that C just appeared, we're going to have to fight Biggs! Well, right now, Wedge has been sent on patrol, meaning Biggs will have to deal with us by himself. Is Biggs a problem? No. No, he's not. Oh, and by the way, Cypher is not going to join your party for this one. It's just going to be you, Zell, and Selfie. So here's the deal. Biggs is just like those other commanders. Although he has 700 health, here's the deal. Defeating him is actually a lot easier than what it is for to defeat the actual guards downstairs. And to be perfectly honest with you, here's the deal. You want to kill Biggs, or should I say reduce Biggs' HP down to a low health. Because if you take out Wedge, which you could easily do, because Wedge has lower HP than what Biggs does, Biggs will Drop an elixir. The first elixir in the game you'll actually get, and you'll normally get two of them. Wedge, on the other hand, will drop a tent. While tents are useful in this game, uh, more than likely they're not needed. And, uh oh. Just as soon as you beat Biggs and Wedge, the real boss comes in. Meet Elevret. 
the monster that Wedge in the uh, cutscene was talking about. Now to deal with Elephant, he has a GF that you need to draw before anything else. And also he has double, make sure you draw that too. But Siren must be drawn. And I got an achievement for doing that. Anyway. <laughs> but it's best for you to draw Siren as quickly as humanly possible. And stock up on double and stock up on cure if you need to. But beware. Elephant has powerful wind attacks and he can really hit hard. I mean, I was so busy stuck. Oh, he also has thunder attacks too. I was so busy stocking up on double, which is a pretty good spell, by the way. Well, pretty good spell to junction, considering the magic air. But I was so busy stocking up on double that I didn't really uh, focus on healing, which I should have. Because, my god, that move packs a wall. And by the way, Zell is at level 11, Selfie's at level 10, Squall's at level 15. So all the moves that this thing is doing is based off of the fact that he is a level 15 monster, and it's locked that way. He doesn't go past level 15. So if you were like level 20, then this would not be a problem. But you just need to be level 15. You'll be just fine. Well, with Squall anyway, because of the fact that Squall would already have higher uh, level than Zell and Selfie because of the fact that he was training with Twistus in going into the fire cave to get this guy. Now then. That's right. He dies. Well, that didn't really kill him. That only did like 298. Oh, wait, that actually hurt him big time. Hmm. But don't... Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I had shepherd's pie. My, my mistake. Don't waste your cures that you have stopped. Draw cures from him. Oh, and if you needed to draw some Isuna from Big and Wedge, you could do that too from the previous fight. But like I said, Storm Breath is probably the one thing that will hurt you. This boss is not that bad. But Storm Breath, Storm Breath actually will hurt. You can cast it on Selfie. Well, you can cast Cure on Selfie, sorry. If she gets low health, because of course, She's at a lower level than both Zell and Squall. Because by the time you get to Selfie, you could have probably already been at level 9. Oh! He is just focusing on Selfie. And I foolishly cast a cast on a fully healed Squall. Oh, not really a fully healed Squall. Oh no! I was trying to cast a uh, cure on Selfie, but that didn't work. Well. There is a good thing though, I get to use selfie slots! Uh... Ooh! Wait! What's that? Okay! I got full cure! Awesome! And I could have used any one of those attacks, even Aurora! But full cure is what I wanted to use! Which in turn returned everybody's health back to normal! But Zell comes back in with Katsukaro for the win! I mean, Thunder shouldn't really hurt Elephant, but it does. It actually does. Ironically enough, it packs a wallop on Elephant, as if, if, if you could wholeheartedly believe that. Let's see how much damage it does to get the Oh! Oh! 
Maybe it'll be weak to ice too. Hey, will you stop bitch slapping Yuffie? Uh, well, I guess Katsukado will work too, so we might as well just use it. Oh, right, and as for Selfie, she needs to stop on Cures as well. We're more than likely going to need him. Alright. Now that I've got Shiva, let's see how much ice actually does damage to him. Because normally I would have just kept raining down on him with Ketsukawa, but Shiva may do more damage. what I would do, like normally pound the crap out of him with Ketsukawa because Zell had about 20% magic and 20% summoning magic already attached to him, so yeah. Ketsukawa will pack a wallop. But then again, Elevred is dead from Shiva because that did about 400 damage. Pretty cool. And so we survived this boss fight. And where we get the uh, elixirs from is immediately after the fight with Elevrate. So again, it all depends on who you kill before you face Elevrate and who you. Or, or, and if you manage to defeat Elevrate. And we've got the Weapons Monmar. Uh, if I remember correctly, that has to be used once you get back to school. Because you had the ability to <clears throat> craft weapons if you have the Weapons Monmar. But for right now, uh, Selfie has some news. We gotta get off this island within by 1900 hours, actually. So, in other words, we have to leave within 30 minutes. Which is not good. Not good at all. Considering we spent about almost a couple hours here off in guards and monsters, but mostly guards. Uh, let's leave. So that means Cypher pretty much abandoned everybody. In other words, we're gonna have to follow Cypher's lead and get down from this place. Now then. <laughs> Here's where the trouble begins! We go from one boss fight to another, to another, but this one is optional! And, due to the fact that, uh... Steam may be a little bit unpredictable with me, like it may stop in the middle of recording, I'm gonna instead escape from this thing! This is a monstrosity that Biggs and Wedge, or should I say Biggs, sit after me. You're gonna have to run into it regardless and incapacitate it long enough for you to run. So it's technically a boss battle. You can continue fighting it, because it should have about 3,500. But, it's in your best interest to just waylay this thing with uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yes, it's in your best interest to waylay this thing with GFs and bring it down. It has cure, so after your battle with Alifred, make sure you steal some uh cures from it. And this enemy, by the way, is the X. ATM-092 
and for the record, it absorbs wind, so you might want to be careful. Oh, and I inadvertently cured the damn thing. And cured Selfie twice. That was a stupid move on my part. I was trying to cure Zell. Or Squall, but mostly Zell. Because that thing hurts. And it did somewhat of a critical hit to me. Okay. Let's just use a GF now. This is starting to get annoying here. By the way, if you don't leave the island within 30 minutes, it is a game over. You're going to have to start all the way from the Biggs and Wedge fight. Number one. Number two, depending on whether or not you destroy this thing, it will affect your rank. If you like destroy it by the time it gets to the beach, then, or at least by the time it gets to the bridge, then you'll get a high rank. And again, like I said, I didn't want my uh, game to stop in the middle of it and all of a sudden it not respond. So I just flat out beat it. It was my lucky day, actually. Now, while it's flatlined like that, it will regenerate most of its health. Because honestly, you aren't supposed to beat it. But... Well, at that point, you aren't supposed to beat it. But if you somehow do beat it before it gets back up again... Oh, uh... Had about three GX going this way. That's what I was saying. If you do beat it, you can use the remainder of the 30 minutes to head straight back to the island with no problems whatsoever. I guess. So now we can run. Yeah, I know, we didn't receive anything. Let's run! And run away we shall! And here it comes again! Alright, now it's around this point. If this thing actually catches up to you, you can instantly destroy it. I would say you can't instantly destroy it. You can defeat it and just easily go to the island. But every time you run into this thing, you have to weaken it in order for you to safely get to the island. Or get to the dropship, actually. The same attacks is basically like before, each and every time. <clears throat> yeah, just be careful for this move because this move actually hurts. Yeah, as you can see here. But that's okay. I'll just cast him the cure and just head off of this island as soon as I do. Well, and also cast the GF. Now, if anybody's wondering why I'm not trying to defeat this thing, the last time I did, and this is another playthrough, I did this on a Steam version. Just when I finally beat the thing, it all of a sudden stopped, and it non-responded. And then I had to do the whole entire fight all over again. That's why I'm just so hell-bent on just doing as much damage as I can and getting the hell out. For fear that Steam would crash on me again. And it's no fault of the uh, computers, but rather the game. Oh, god damn it, Selfie! Run away!
All right, let's just keep on going. And it's gonna continue to chase us again. Yeah, like right there. We didn't even get a chance to run. <clears throat> oh boy. You know the drill. Just use your G well, use your GFs to weaken it, and then if you want to fight it, fine. If not, run away. Sadly, this is mandatory if you haven't destroyed him yet. I know I may sound a little bored, but I'm not. I'm really not. There's nothing that a little hellfire can't cure. Nor thunderstorm, nor diamond dust. I would use Siren, but she's weak. As in, well, she's level 3 weak, but her uh, magic spells really aren't that great. However, she's only good for the junctions that she gives you. So whoever you have, Junction with Siren, for the love of God. You want to, uh... Half, uh... Siren learn AP, uh, receive some AP. But not at this point. Honestly, I should have equipped Siren, but I just left because of the timer. And here he comes again. Persistent asshole, isn't he? And guess what he's trying to catch up to you? And he's blocking your way into the city? Well, I think this also is the this is your last chance to actually defeat him before you actually get points taken off. Again, I probably won't be able to do so. And again, this isn't one hundred percent. I'm just trying to beat this game. But in order to go through it, I have to at least get through this uh, optional battle once. But don't worry if I get my disc again, I mean disc working again, I show off what happens to actually uh, beat this guy. Alright, alright. Selfie's healed. Oh god, not under the ray bomb. No! Ah, oh, that's just brutal. Ouch, and that really did a lot to uh, Zelda time. But then again, he had Katsukado, so I didn't expect much. Alrighty then. One more thunderstorm for the win! That ought to put it down. And ultimately, I wasn't going. I'm not going to be able to get as much points as I have for this playthrough. But. We got him! And I heal myself to taunt him. So long, sucker! Of course, that thing does not stay down too long. Now, make sure you examine the dog. Or try to, at least. Yeah, there we go. We got the dog to run away, at least. That will put a little bit of more points on us. But the one thing that will hurt us is the fact that this thing managed to enter the city. Number one. And number two, me inadvertently talking to the guards. 
Those are the three things that screwed me over with this. Oh no, not arm crunch. Oh, You would. And... One quick diamond dust and it's dead! Wait, no it's not, it's only gonna do 700. Damn, I... Just damn. It only did 668? That's even worse! I don't know, Quetzalcoatl's not gonna let me down. And... Thunderstorm! I so miss Force Hammer. I really do. That was an awesome technique. But Thunderstorm's just as good as well. Oh wait, but we have one more! Because you see, Selfie's gotta put on her SmackDown! And we only got 16 minutes, so... We could stay and beat this thing down, but that'll take up all of our time. Because again, he regenerates. Well, no, no, no. Actually, we're past the bridge, so he shouldn't regenerate. But I'm choosing to run instead. Alright. Now the eight now the XATM092 is on its way here. We don't have to face him anymore. We just keep on running and he will start ravaging the city meaning yeah you failed to stop it but at the same time that also means you don't have to well that also means you can either choose to stay and fight or you can choose to run also do not go into that building as well if you choose to hide from it it will uh affect your score Run, Squall, run! Run! Retreat for now! Alright! Come on, Squall! Get up! You can do it! You can do it, Squall! And, of course... That thing may be... Oh, no, no, it's still going. Don't stand there and look behind, Selfie. Don't, don't be Optimus. It's still going to be walking. I meant optimistic, sorry. But yes, run, Squall. Run while you can. And then there's Quistus for the win. And Quistus destroys the ATM-092. Although you could have destroyed the eight. Although I could have destroyed the zero ATM-92 myself. I got the X ATM-092 by myself. It honestly doesn't matter because that cutscene will still play because another one will appear. So now we sail off from Dolet and go straight back to uh, wherever the hell we were. It was somewhat of a job well done. Yeah, somewhat. Something tells me I missed out on something. But again, I'm playing this from memory. And to greet him, well, the Great Cypher, actually. It's the Disciplinary Committee, Raijin and Fujin. And... Cypher's bitching and complaining about everybody got in his way. Well, we're not the ones running off going Leroy Jenkins on people. That was you, Cypher. 
So, with that said, we all go back to Balam Garden. Unfortunately, we won't go back there by car. I mean, we can hang around this town if we want to. But again, that will affect the mission. And there he goes. That's why we won't be able to go back on car because Cypher takes the car. Wow, what a douche. I hope they get into a wreck. I hope I also find my way out of here. Uh, uh, nope, nope, wrong way. Oh, but I found a thunder draw. So technically that was the right way. I think there was another draw around here. Oh, and there's a shop here too. I really want to talk to her, but unfortunately we're still in the middle of a mission and we have to report back to Balam Garden in order to actually get any points. So if you talk to any further people, yeah, we'll drop our score even more. I shouldn't be worried about it because I failed to protect that city. Anyway, we're almost done. Oh, come on, guys. We just got finished fighting bosses. And it's a single bite bug? Oh, what the deuce. Oh, well. Die. Yes, die for your lord and master. It's alright. It's alright. We're done here. And Selfie just went up to level 11. So all the enemies here so far will be at 15. Anyway, we are done. I will be seeing you guys at part 6. Let's see if I can junk in anything off of Zell. But that's okay. But right now... Oh wait, that's right. I'm junctioning Cypher. That's right. I'm gonna need it. Trust me. I'm gonna need her. So I will see you guys. Because we're at the, nearing the end of the video in part six when we return to Balam Garden and see the results of our training or should I say our mission chances are it's an absolute complete total failure because of you know who oh wait we're still going oh oh okay huh what do you know she does have good stuff and life magic items awesome definitely definitely work on getting the ability points for her you need all the light magic refinery you can get and recovery magic refinery you can get so yeah and refining tools definitely god she is special and if you would not have drawn her out of elephant yeah, you'd have been missing out on that, too. I probably won't be able to grind most of this, because I'm going back to Balam Garden again. I will hopefully end it this time. Or walk a little ways before I end it. Ah, oh, damn it. Not again. Okay, fine, let's kill them. One more time with healing. I mean, Squall's got magic, Squall's got uh, vitality, Squall's got strength, Squall's got spirit. It doesn't matter, Squall is a machine now, and that's what I want. Now we're nearing the end. And we got another card. Whoop-de-doo! So I will see you guys.